We took on 17. I think we bit off a little bit more than we can chew. I think I may have overlooked something. So we've got all of these 17 sustainers that have been brought to us by John and Rob from Atkinson's of Cheshire. Now you might remember these guys, uh, they built out the office for us and helped us deck out the whole unit how we wanted it. When they were here, I saw their van, which was super organized. They've got all of these sustainers in racks, nice and neatly organized and labeled. And inside them though, they were, the items were, some of them are in blue molded trays, some of them are loose. Uh, and I promised them that as soon as we launched our inserts, which are now live on the website, we would have them back and try and deck them all out in shadow foam as a thank you. They're all here now and we've got a lot to go at. There's some of these tools I don't even recognize. This is uh, the Festool Domino. It's actually just like a jointing machine. It's, all, it's a bit like a doweler or a biscuit joint, but it's actually a bit more accurate. It makes our work a lot easier. We've got a jigsaw, we've got drills, router. But this one here actually is a, is a shadow foam original that we did a, a few moons ago with our chisels and it's worked really well. It keeps them nice and sharp, keeps them protected and yeah, helps them nice, organized. Done a nice job of that. I remember you showing me that one when, we, when you were here. We've converted you over to having foam inserts, which is great. Right then, so leave them with us and we'll get them all shadow foamed. Right, so 17 sustainers to go at. These are the Festool Sustainer T-Lock. So it's basically a Tanos T-Lock sustainer and then obviously these ones are branded Festool but there's a couple of other brands that make these. If you're watching this video, you probably know what these are but if you don't, it's basically a single modular container, plastic container with one latch on the front which has got like a nice positive close. But the idea is that you can stack them. So you basically just put that on top there and then I think I just twist that bottom one like that and then that then links them together and you, you're basically creating a modular system to transport all your items around so having them organized is going to stop everything bouncing around uh, and obviously Festool do uh, supply certain case sets with a molded tray but the problem with these molded trays is if you drop something on it, you're going to split it and break it and damage it. So they don't last very long, typically. Uh, but then also, you're stuck with that layout. Quite commonly, people mount this charger in, the, in a van or they'll put it separate. Uh, and then you've got a big space here, which you could actually fill with more batteries or more tools. So uh, having an easy peel insert, a shadow foam insert in here, will mean we can change it up, make it a bit more efficient. So I think we start out with this one. And let's see how we get on. Right, so the first thing I think I'm going to do with this is give it a bit of an anti-back and a bit of a wipe down. I think we're going to try and freshen up the whole setup for Rob and John. So we'll, we'll give them all a clean out, we'll give them all a wipe down, we'll wipe down all the tools and then we'll add the fresh shadow foam. So we'll really kind of, um, we'll get a nice before and after for them. Right, so that's all cleaned up and all the tools are cleaned up. We know what we've got in there and we've got our insert to go in there. So we just have to figure out the layout and then we can start cutting it. So the Festool sustainer came with a blow molded tray in it, uh, which kind of had a predefined layout. Um, but with um, a shadow foam insert, we can kind of create our own layout now, something a little bit more efficient possibly, um, that'll leave a little bit of space for stuff in the future. So if I put that like that, then I can put the plug above it. Yeah, I'll do it like that. And I can put a finger pull there. Finger pulls there, that there. Right, sweet. So that's the layout we're gonna go for. We're gonna go for, it's quite similar. It's slightly different to how uh, the blow molded tray was. But we're gonna go for the two batteries there next to each other and then we can put a little finger pull in between. And we've got the two other adapters and then we've got the charger. Brilliant, so to, to start cutting, what we would recommend is that you pick up one of these uh, cutting packs from the website or from Amazon, wherever you're getting it from. And in there, you'll get uh, some instructions, you'll get a branded sticker, um, and then you'll also get a shadow foam scalpel with five blades, which is a nice long cutting tool, which we can use to create the silhouettes for the tools. So we just place the tool where we want it to go, and then we can cut around it following the profile of the tool. We don't have to cut very deep, just enough to create an outline, basically and we can go back afterwards. Once 
once we've done that, we just dig our finger into one of the ends of the cut that we've made and just peel the, the foam back. So we just get a grip of the foam and we just follow the peel all the way along. Right then, so that is one down. Uh, we've done the, uh, the whole kit and caboodle and the cable is tucked in underneath the plug. So what we've done is we've kind of hollowed out a cavity underneath this um, section of foam here. So then the cable can tuck underneath, the charger can sit down flush to the bottom of the container, uh, to the sustainer. There's a little bit of green foam underneath that. You can see there we've, we've had to cut it quite deep into the foam. And then we've got a little slot for the plug as well. So that is the first one done. Right, so we've just done, you've just seen, we've just done one chisel box. So John and Rob basically have a set of chisels each. Uh, and Rob has got slightly less chisels, so they've all managed to fit in um, on like a, a flat lay like this. Uh, with John's, however, we're gonna struggle to fit it all in. So what we're gonna do to try and make uh, use of the space, uh, we're gonna stand these two really tall ones on edge, uh, possibly three, so we can fit them all in. And hopefully that'll mean we can keep all of them in the same box, which should, should solve the problem. next day now and we managed to get 11 of the sustainers done so uh, we we took on 17 I think we bit off a little bit more than we could chew because we only had a day to spend doing it um, and I think all 11 took around about five hours uh, and the ones that we didn't do we didn't do the router that had like a, a plastic injection molded tray which is quite nicely laid out it's got all the little pieces that go with it same with the domino it kind of it worked, they, they already work really well. So what we thought we'd do is we'd focus on the ones that um, would benefit more from having a foam liner. So we didn't do the three big Festool power tools. We didn't manage to get done the fine or the Hilti. There's hardly any space in there for foam or the grinders. However, we did manage to do the majority, over half, which I was really pleased about. So this one here, this is a newer sustainer case because it's got the, the pull on the front. So it's, I think, a slightly different layout, but this, uh, this still fits and it works all good. New sustainer. So yeah, that's awesome. That's the uh, impact driver from Festool. That's another one, awesome. This is just another standard drill here. Again, it all just saves a lot of time, really. Chisels. These are the old man's chisels. Never hit with a hammer, always use a mallet. So that takes up quite a bit of space, so that, that works well in there, doesn't it? It's got a lot more chisels in there. <laughs> My chisels, as you can see, looking a lot more pristine. But again, important that they're protected. Now this one is one of the key ones with these laser levels, because obviously when they're on, there's a self-level and this thing here, the more you knock that, the less it's going to be level. So the fact that when it's stored away, it's going to be secure, it's going to stay in the same place, that makes it spot on. Because even the case it comes with isn't, to be honest with you, that brilliant for that. You'd think they'd think about that a bit more. Now this is one of my favourite tools of recent purchases, the Viking arm. So it is a bit of, bit of a brute, but that is awesome. The fact that we've got other accessories with it as well, but they're all sort of like within a door hanging kit because this helps us a lot with big heavy fire doors. So all for that, that keeps things nice and organized. And again, another standard little drill, great for kitchen fitting. Again, everything's there that you need, especially the angle drill. Well pleased with that. Again, another one for kitchen fitting mainly. 
is the handle drill. So you change these to cut out the handles. Mini suckers here as well, usually for getting the plinth off at the bottom. So that again, keeping everything sort of in the same area when you're doing specific jobs. And last but not least, the old jigsaw. Now this is, a, the, I'd say the vastest improvement because everything was generally under something else. But here, it's obviously all on the level and everything's neat and organized. So that is uh, nice and neatly cut in. That's awesome, splendid. So brilliant stuff. Right, so I'm pretty happy with that. I think the boxes have turned out amazing. Rob and John are really, really happy with them. Um, and we just wanted to show you that we are fully stocked now of all of these Festool sustainer inserts. So whatever color you want, green, red, blue, yellow, orange, black, we've got 30 mil, 50 mil. We've got inserts available for the standard medium sustainer, the sortainer, which is a three drawer, triple pack of inserts, and also the mini as well. We've got inserts coming soon for the extra extra large box and the large box and any other sizes we may have missed, you feel free to let us know. And if you like this video, subscribe and turn on your notifications because we've got videos like this coming every other week on this channel.